Next up, podcast listeners, we have Kevin Faulkner for governor. So Kevin Faulkner is the former mayor of San Diego and Charles Payne on Neil Cavuto interviews San Diego Mayor Kevin Faulkner and asks him a bunch of questions. And we have a series of clips on this because it's really interesting because this guy, Kevin Faulkner, could easily be and potentially be the new governor of California in short order. And so we have the first clip up and here it is. All of a sudden, everyone's having the general epiphany, whether it's the governor of New York, the mayor of Chicago. And I'm just going to put it to you bluntly. Some people are now saying that this feels like maybe they deliberately slowed down the economy to influence the election. I mean, it's you hate to think of things like that, but the timing is just so frustrating for a lot of people, particularly those who have already lost their business and can't get it back and those who yeah. worked at those businesses and can't find jobs. And so here's former San Diego mayor Kevin Faulkner's response to Charles Payne's question. Really important because, as I said, this guy could be the new governor of California. We have that clip, and here it is. Well, it's incredibly frustrating. And again, back to, back to livelihoods and lives. So many Californians are, are hurting. And that's been real. And that's why, again, as, as mayor, I've been so outspoken about that uh, all throughout this process. Um, and, and again, to, to be open and closed with no science behind that, you know, the, the, the companies, the small businesses that are the backbone of our economy in California, you know, once they shut, they're not coming back. And that's why there's been this real sense of urgency to make a change in California, to make a change at the top, uh, because what we're seeing not happening uh, in terms of the rollout of our vaccines, unfortunately, one of the worst in the nation. The mm -hmm. fact that our kids aren't back in school, I mean, you start adding all of this up, it's not working in California. And that's why we need new leadership. So you know who's quiet in California about this recall? Hollywood. Hollywood is quiet. Why? Because Hollywood is shut down. They are shut down. So the same Hollywood woke group, who of course hated Donald Trump, even though Donald Trump wanted to open up the economy, was telling the states to open up the economy and send kids back to school, and so forth. No, that Hollywood crowd, they actually are quiet. They're silent on the issue of the recall, which makes you wonder, gee, I wonder how they're actually gonna vote when they go into the voting booth, because now it's actually what? It's affecting their paycheck. It's really affecting their ability to make a living. And so how close is the recall? Well, we have this final clip of this segment, and here it is. Well, I think, I think the signatures are gonna get there. There's a, a million point one been collected out of a million five that are necessary. And that number is growing every single day. And by the way, this is bipartisan. This is Democrats, Republicans, you know, independents, everybody that wants that change at the top in California. So I believe the recall is going to qualify. And I believe that Californians are ready to elect a new governor. So there's also the whole school issue, right? Because the teachers unions in California and many other states, by the way, not just California, but the teachers unions in California, which are really kind of like a cartel, like El Chapo, um, not the teachers, by the way, so don't hit me on that. The teachers, the rank and file teachers are terrific, but the teachers unions, I'm sorry, it's a cartel and they don't want to go back to work. They don't. And why does that matter in California? Well, because if you're a parent, you have children, you want your kids to go back to school, you want to go back to work yourself, you want to go back to your regular life. And we looked in uh, to get a bunch of data out of California about this issue about um, suicide of students. And instead, we decided to pull up an article from Las Vegas, and it's, it's reported from the Daily Wire. It says, surge of student suicides forced Las Vegas school district to return to in-person learning. Now, you can imagine how badly this, this article goes, but it says the nation's fifth largest school district of Clark County, Nevada, will return to in-person education as quickly as possible following a surge of student suicides in and around the country, the counties, excuse me, central city Las Vegas, according to the New York Times. The shocking news of a rash of student suicides in Nevada has school districts across the country rethinking the strategy of in-home and online learning amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and reconsidering their position that students might fully recover from a year spent out of the company of peers. Well, it's kind of obvious, right? So in California, you know, you have this massive economy, this 40 million people that live there, and I'm not sure how many students there are in K to 12 in California, but clearly the teachers unions have pitted themselves against these students and they put themselves first instead of putting the students first. The students need to be back in school. So if you're gonna wonder, if you're wondering at all why 
the recall effort may very well succeed and why Kevin Faulkner may very well be the next governor of California. Think about not just the students and not just the small businesses, but think about the non-traditional voters, people who normally would never vote for Republican in, in, in uh, California, who were, may just vote for Kevin Faulkner for governor, like Hollywood, right? <laughs> like Hollywood, like anyone whose business has been shut down or whose industry has been affected, and now they're seeing it in their pocketbook and in their wallet. And that is Kevin Faulkner for governor.